You said this is where you limit out? Are you wearing waders? Yeah. Are you wearing waders? Uh, no, bro. I'm a, I'm a, what do you call it? Free ball. Swimming trucks kind of guy, bro. You don't give up? <laughs> That's crazy. Time, How cold is the water? It's, uh, I'd say about 60, you know, 70, 60 centimeters. It's cold. Captains always tell me that the way you find out the temperature is you put your balls in it. And the smaller they get, the colder it is. <laughs> I mean, I'll, I'll throw some mullet for now until the sun comes up. Okay. I don't like. I have a light. I have a light lure, so it's not gonna do any. Right. I would need a black lure right now, or a top water. I had a really nice top water, but my dog got a hold of it, oh, hooked himself in the lip and the, his paw. Oh, and that's the issue we're having the last few weekends. You know the, how cats do that little little jerk? Mm -hmm. That's the shit we were reeling in. Is we're getting 24, 25s, dude. What? No hard drag. No typical straight down and zzz. You were getting redfish like that? Yeah, dude. What the f***? And it ain't right. It's not what I'm using. <laughs> it, ain't right. it ain't right. No drag, no nothing. That, that looked like a good little tug, though. Yeah, but no, man, so uh, do you know Captain Alfonso? I don't know him personally, but I know who he is. Okay. Sanchez? Yeah. Yeah. So a buddy of mine from sure, he's, uh, he did, uh, you know, drones and all that, and he's doing his commercial. What he didn't have was, you know, voiceover. That's what I do. Oh, nice. Uh, so whoa, whoa. Here I come. Oh, here I come. Oh. Nice. Uh, so that's right, guys. Captain Alfonso Sanchez from SPI. Go ahead and book your trip now and all that fun stuff. What does that do? Did that blow your mind? That <laughs> just happened. What is that? A catchphrase? Bro, where do you where do you do your voiceovers? I, I feel like I've heard your voice before. No, I mean, um, little businesses that are. <laughs> that's so crazy. Air shot, side shot, you name it. Oh, that's a red. He's on now. <laughs> that's a red. There you go. Hey, sir. Let me see if I can record you with my camera because I don't think the other one can see. You're kidding me, bro. No. Ah. <laughs> it came off. It came off. Keep bro. reeling, keep reeling. Yeah, it came off. Did it? Put the lines in the water, boys. <laughs> you saw that, right? It was a big, it was a slot seaweed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good luck, sir. I'll see you in a bit. These birds are not helping. All right, guys. So <clears throat> I am out here with a couple of uh, subscribers. Great guys. And they're using some cut bait right now, some mullet. And they said that that's what's been working. And that's what a lot of people have been telling me too, that cut bait is the way to go right now for some reason. But I am gonna test out my lures. I'm gonna be using a brand new color. It's not really a new color per se, but it's a new color design, I guess you can say, from, that, I, that I just shot last night. And I really wanna put it to the test today. In conditions like this, I typically use the Cosmo. It is a white lure, so with the low light, sun coming up, clear water, it usually does really well. But I'm first gonna test this pink lure that I kind of made and see how it, how it fares up. And as you guys saw by the uh, title of the video, we are in uh, South Padre Island today. There's a 40% chance of rain today, and I really hope we don't get it. There's one. Woo wee! Let's go, baby. He chased it all the way to the kayak. That's a keeper. That's a keeper, fellas. Not a fat guy, but he'll keep. Check it out. I thought it was a ladyfish for a second. All right, so now that we know that there's some trouts out here, I'm going to switch to the, the pink lure. Let's make sure that this guy's a keeper, though. Are you going to behave? All right, let's find out. Oh, yeah, 15, 16, 16 inches. He's a skinny guy, but he's a keeper. 
he followed it all the way to the kayak too. He hit it right there in the bottom. I thought it was a ladyfish with the way it jumped up. But my man is a 16 inch. All right. He's got the net in the front. I've never really been this far in the uh, in this area. Usually I just kind of stay on that side of the markers. But we are looking for keepers today, guys. So put that guy on the stringer there. This lure is gonna be killer, man. I can already tell. It's gonna be just just as good as the Cosmo if I can just get them to hook. All right, so they're biting on the little bit of a faster retrieve. There's one. There's one. Little guy. But it's a trout ski, guys. On that new color, baby on that new color told you it was gonna be money beautiful color lure too I, I really enjoy this pink it's like a pink with black flake and and the silver flake but check them out another little guy that was probably gonna be like 14 though it's not what we're looking for okay all right guys i'm gonna kind of head back towards the, where i started right now and i'm gonna redrift this area here since I was getting a lot of bites over here on this side. And the bite kind of died down a little bit as I was moving further. So I'm gonna see if I can run it back. It goes again. It goes again. What was that? Like a needle fish. All right guys, I'm gonna put a Cosmo on for a little bit until that sun peaks out because that pink color Although it's getting a lot of hits, it's got some silver flake in it that I put in there purposely. So when the sun is, is, uh, is out, it should have a lot of shine in the water, like a little minnow kind of, to trick these fish into thinking that it's a real bait. I do smell trout though. Definitely smell trout. I can smell you. <laughs> Trying to see if I can find a slick or something because I definitely smell trouts. There's one. There's one, guys. I don't know if he's a keeper, but he feels okay. Oh yeah, I think he's a keeper. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. He's a keeper, guys. Oh yeah. Okay, okay. I see you, buddy. Oh yeah, woo, look at that, baby. On the Cosmo, once again. What did I say? If there is a fish there, Cosmo will find it. <laughs> All right, check this fella out, guys. He's gonna be a healthy guy, too. Got that Seth jig, corner of the mouth. He won't shaking that off for nothing. Let's see how big he is. He's gonna be a good 18 or 19 inches. Oh yeah. 19 and a half all day, baby. Check it out, guys. Got a real nice 19 and a half inch trout on the Cosmo. It's been a grind. I've been out here for about, I don't know, I haven't checked the time yet, but it's probably been about two hours and it's been kind of slow. Been getting a bunch of small bites on my lures, but we have two trout so far. It's not too shabby, not too shabby. Take this guy home. We are keeping fish today, so 
I'm gonna see if I can catch another trout, another good juicy trout, and then I'm gonna see if I can go uh, and look for some redfish. But stay tuned, baby. It's only getting better. <laughs> Right now I'm using the uh, a one eight jig since it's kind of shallow here. I'm using the Cosmo, and I'm using Mr. Ballyhoo shrimp oil. And we're doing we're doing pretty good so far, guys. We got two trouts. I mean, I don't know how the bite is right now for everybody else, but it's been pretty good so far for us. I think. Could be worse. I apologize for that camera moving so much. So fishy, like a spoil you, so fishy, yes sir. Follow me back. I just check, bro. I followed you. Follow me back, bro. Let's go check on the buddies. Marcus and his buddies over here. Somewhere. Any luck? What's up? Couple bites. Yeah, it's definitely kind of slow. Yeah, I'm gonna see if there's uh, if these guys are catching any redfish over here. They're using mullet, so I'm gonna see what's up. Good luck, man. I'm so glad I brought my sweater and my boots, even though I look a little funky, <laughs> look a little weird, guys. I got freaking Nike. Leggings, the rock shorts, Magellan sweater. <laughs> Talk about matching. How many? Nothing? You know where, are you throwing it into the grass flat? Yeah. But I think they're hanging out in the grass flats if they're here. I think when that sun comes up. All right, let's go look for Marcus now. See if there's any redfish over here. I don't think so. I honestly don't think there's gonna be any redfish over here right now. I have not seen any signs of redfish today. Oh. I got trouts. Got two of them. So a nice one and. Uh, a 19 and a half -er and a 16. Man, dude, I'm sorry about this, dude. It's kind of awkward for, uh, what, a third weekend in a row, whatever it's going to be, and recently no, no hits by now. It's kind of weird. I apologize for that. Man. For what? It's fishing, bro. Yeah. I got fish on the boat. I ain't tripping. <laughs> <laughs> for, At least somebody does. Sorry for you. <laughs> nah, you'll get some right now, dude. It's because the sun's not even... Yeah. Yeah, so I, I'm thinking your best bet is... Go throw a lure or or throw or uh, anchor by the by the channel, channel okay. and throw it right in that drop off the cut bait so that way if there's if there is any redfish going down the the the, the drop off they'll pick it up. You want a, a whole mullet? Um, sure. Yeah, I, I'll get. I just want a piece. A piece, okay. Yeah, so I can try it out for a little bit with you, and then if it's gonna be awkward. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. okay here we go. Oh no! <laughs> nice save there by Rachel over to Lauren. Back to Tanya. Not even fucking close. Oh. No, I can't get it. Pulls up three pointer. Bang! 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 It's good. Wins the game at the buzzer. Yeah. What'd you get? What'd you get? Did you get a red? I don't know, bro. We're about to find out. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh, my God. oh, big old cat. I was going to say, that's a weird, that was a weird bite. That was a weird bite, dude. Yeah, at least you got a fish. <laughs> yes, man. You hadn't caught a fish all day? No. Not even a cat? Yeah, this is catfish heaven. It's like a hit or miss. Alright, here they go. I have one already rigged in there with a jig hit. Okay. But just in case they rip you off. 
use those. I didn't bring any pedal toes other than those. Well, those are old. You can tell, but they should. The white one, yeah. The one a jig. Throw as far as you can, and then you're gonna do a moderate retrieve. You'll you'll feel it. If you go too slow, you're hitting grass. If you go too fast, you're on the surface. So it's like right in the center. A little trout ski right here, guys. Probably gonna be 14. Yeah, he ripped my tail first. He ripped my tail and then he came back for it. Try to throw it like right here in this grassy area. Yeah, he's like a 14 and a half. Okay, got something here. Another keeper trout. Oh yeah, babe. got another one. Whoop, whoop. Hopefully he's 15. I don't know, man. He's gonna be pushing it. Let's see how big this little guy is. Probably gonna be 14 and a half. But let's find out. Oof, 14 and three quarters. Lucky day, my man. Slow day, guys, slow day. We're not doing too bad though, considering uh, we haven't been out here in over a year. And um, right now I have been catching some trouts, but they're small. And then we got two keeper trouts. I'm hoping we can land at least one or two more keepers. And we're using the uh, the new pink color right now. Great color to use in clear water, man. White and pink should be your go-tos in clear water. Or anything like a pearl color, maybe a yellow. I think we're going to have to move a little bit more that way. Let's try about right here. There you go. What did I tell you? <laughs> no, I came off. Yeah. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta move a little bit. You gotta look at the structure in the bottom. Here's one. Little guy though. All right, you're gonna wanna move up a little bit more that way. Okay. We're looking for gra the grass. Yeah. We're kind of drifting at an angle, so we're going away from it. But if you want, let's go to the right first. So we can get closer back that way and then we'll drift. All right, so let's, we're gonna go, we're gonna look for a little bit of grass. Like right here, there's a good amount of grass here. We don't wanna get too close over there cause there's uh, those sandbars. All right, let's try, let's try right here. Now just go ahead and stop there. I'll go, I'll go past you. There's one. I think it's a red. I think it's a small red though. Oh no, it's a trout, bro. Nice. Hell yeah, boy. It's a nice trout too. Nice. 
Don't lose it. It's a nice trout. Marcus is hooked up too. Oh, that's a keeper. That's a keeper all day. <laughs> Gee. It's some big boys too, man. Shredded that red and white color. Check out this donkey, guys. It's gonna measure like 22 inches, 21 inches. Marcus also got one over there. This one's at 19 and a half. And he's a fat guy. 16, three quarters. Nice. the hell this is what's been messing with my blue all day bro nice to see you mother <laughs> freaking ripping my tails all day bro that is crazy ow dude this kid bit me bro What a fucking jerk. Freaking scratch the shit out of me. Yeah. It's not like hardcore, but you can see the little blood coming out. What an asshole, dude. That freaking made me bleed. Look. Crazy. It's like he jumped up to bite me. It's crazy. Reminded me of my dog yesterday. Right now with the high tide, we can kind of do a drift through here, see how it goes. If not, we go back over there to the where the where the mangroves are at. Since it's high tide, the redfish typically go up if they're here. Oh, yeah? yeah, throw some cut bait out and just wait for them. Yeah, they typically go up on high tide because they're able to reach like any like crustacean or crabs or anything that's hiding in the mangrove. They go out there and they go grab it. On low tide, they can't get it, so they they just they go out. Let's head back over there to the mangroves. I think that trout bite already died down. here so much for not getting wet all the water went into my boots Fish on. Fish on. Fish on the ice.
a healthy fella. How'd you pay off? Do! <laughs> Jump on my lawn. Man. You just heard your, your rod fall or what? Bro? I heard it ru running. Huh? Feeling drag, bro. Oh, no, dude, that's badass, bro. Check it out. Anyway, that's no 21 inch, bro. Oh, no. Bigger paper, 26. 24, 25? It's gonna be like 26, 25. Ow. I still got my bait. <laughs> Check it out, guys. Woo, on the cup bait. I thought I was gonna lose them for a second. Let's measure this behemoth. And he's a fat guy, that's why he ran so strong. Yeah, 25 on the dot, bro. Damn, boy. <laughs> Definitely fought a little stronger than that. I thought he was gonna come off because I was trying to get to my rod, I'm trying to run with these boots in the water. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. We put a lot of work in for that damn red. <laughs> I know you work out, but I didn't know you were that fast, bro. Dude, you should, you should have seen me freaking running. I have water in my boots. It doesn't come out since it's waterproof. <laughs> I feel like I have sandbags. See you at the ramp. All right, man. Ooh, what a day, guys. What a day. Hey, um, before I even start the outro i want to be i want to give a big thanks to uh mr marcus and his buddies that showed up today and invited me to come fishing at the uh old or the um the causeway here in south padre island it's been a minute since i've been over here man i had i've been i had been wanting to to come over here but i didn't really have that motivation only because i know that for me since i haven't been out here in such a long time and in my past experience it can be a little difficult to really limit limit out on reds there and um and trout but i decided to go ahead and come out here anyways and we toughed it out man we were out here since six in the morning and you know the trout bite was really slow i had a lot of bait or fish hitting my lures non-stop ripping my tails off over and over and over and then i finally saw what it was and it was those uh big old needle fish or whatever they're called um as you guys saw the one that bit me in the video that were just ripping the tails off so either way we managed to find a couple of trouts I landed a couple of small ones I landed three good ones uh two solid ones at over 19 inches and um Towards the, end, towards the end of the day, I told Marcus, I'm like, hey, dude, we're going to have to go to the bank and throw some cup bait because the trout bite's already done. And if we're going to catch any reds, they're going to be on the bank. So we went out there and 
within about 15 minutes or so, we ended up landing that 25 inch redfish, super healthy redfish, pulled like a truck. And uh, and that's it, man. I mean, I, I, I was trying to, um, I wanted to try to get some drone shots for you guys. So you guys can kind of get a visual of it. Most of you guys know what South Padre Island looks like. Yeah, I don't need a, a, a drone shot to, to tell you. But, you know, I wasn't able to get some drone shots. It started raining, drizzling all day. Um, I don't even know if the wireless mics were working. Because uh, I noticed that when I took the wireless mic off the GoPro, the wireless mic was off. So I don't even know how long it was off. I'm hoping the audio was good. Otherwise, obviously, I'm going to have to play some music over the, the catches or whatever. But... Give me a thumbs up guys, like the video, comment down below if you want to see me, me do some more fishing in South Padre Island. Um, today's lures of choice were the Cosmo, you already know, uh, the red crazy ruby and the new pink color that I just came out with earlier this morning. So those three colors are definitely going to go to uh, Gilbert's Baited Tackle um, by the end of the weekend, if not during the week. I've already tested them there, um, and a lot of the guys, a lot of the people that fish at Gilbert's fish those kind of waters, and he's closer to that. And then I believe RGB Bait Masters with Captain George already has those colors. He's had them for a long time now, but we just barely got our lures and jig heads into Gilbert's bait and tackle uh, a couple days ago. So we need to make sure that he has the right uh, lures that work just like RGB Bait Masters does to ensure that you guys have the best lures to choose from that work in the in those type of areas that you guys want to fish and those type of water clarity in that type of water uh, clarity and um, today was really more for me kind of testing different colors I knew the Cosmo was gonna work that's a given we already know if the fish are there Cosmo will find it but today I really wanted to try different colors and uh, Marcus was doing, was killing it with the, with the Crazy Ruby. I put the Crazy Ruby on and I started slaying trout also. So, and then I caught trout on the pink color that I, the new pink color I have, which is like a hot pink with black glitter. And I really enjoy the color. So that's definitely gonna be in the lineup. Um, and that's it guys, I'm exhausted. It's already 2.43 p.m ready to get home take a shower and go to sleep so make sure you guys check out rgb bait masters gilbert's bait and tackle swp grab yourself some lures grab yourself some paddle tails some shrimp lures show your boy some love and order you some shirts message me on facebook instagram tiktok whatever um or email me uh to get you some shirts I already did the first order for the first people that uh, that did a pre-order. Those shirts should be ready by probably Sunday. The, the turnaround time was probably like 10 days. So that we're, I'm getting them fast. So no, you don't have to be waiting a long time to get your shirts. And they're going to be beautiful shirts, man. I'm going to make sure that by the next video I'm wearing it so you guys can see it. But I'm going to post it at, at the end of the video so you guys can see the, the shirts. I'm pretty sure I already posted it on the intro, but just in case you missed it, I'll post it here again. I'll see you guys in the next one. Tight lines. Peace.